All right, guys, Jason, one last time about my experience as a major league fishing boating official. Today, uh, as, you, well, as you can see, I'm in my truck. I'm fixing to head home. It's about an hour, 45 minute drive or so, and I'm ready to be at the house. My, my coon look is really set in there. You can see my good tan lines that I've got. But man, being on that water for four days, especially when it's rough, you can get the crap beat out of you. Um, and I am. My stomach muscles are sore, you know, the ones that I do have, from stabilizing myself in the boat. Um, and, I mean, I'm just tired. I'm, I'm ready to be at home. Um, today's pairing was, uh, was pretty interesting. I'm sure you guys know him. Uh, his name is Skeet Reese. He's, I don't know. I had some guys tell me, they're like, man, you know, Skeet's kind of rough on people. And, you know, he just be careful and watch out. And then, you know, I saw this clip of him one time. He said something to a boat official that could have been taken like he was being, you know, an ass or a jerk to him. And, uh, so I was like, you know what? I've never met the guy. I'm not going to form an opinion or pass judgment. I have no idea what the guy's like. But I tell you what, if I ever were to get a chance to come and do this again or just go fishing with the guy, I'd jump all over it. Uh, Skeet Reese is, out of all the, all the guys I've been with, we're all great guys. Um, Skeet was different, but he was different in a good way. He was, he was outgoing, he'd talk a lot, and man, he would mess with you. He, he, he likes to have a good time. And there's another guy, you guys probably won't know him, but he was the cameraman that was in our boat. He was in the boat with us for about five hours or so today, and those two, I mean, you'd have thought they were like, you know, brothers or something they laughed they joked the cameraman his name was rick uh but rick was just as fun as skeet was and i was like holy smoke and one of the officials i talked to before i went out he come running up to me and he goes hey aren't you with skeet and i was like yeah i'm with skeet reese today and he goes oh boy and i was like oh man what he goes you got cameraman Rick with you. He goes, you are going to have a blast. I'm like, no kidding. And he goes, dude, Skeet Reese and Rick are like the most awesome guys out here. You are going to have a great time with them. And he was not joking. I had an absolute blast. Like I had fun every day, but finishing my week off with Skeet Reese and this cameraman named Rick was like, like I started here. It was like, oh man, with my excitement, and then it built up, and I got with Scott Suggs, and I had a good time with him too. Uh, I got with Brent Ayler, and uh, me and him chit-chatted and talked about uh, like some of my steak recipes. Well, I found out Brent and Skeet are uh, like, they room together. They get like an Airbnb or whatever down here, and they're staying together. So today when I saw Skeet, I was like, hey, you know, talking to him about uh, Brent being with him the day before. And then he goes, wait a minute. He goes, are you the steak guy? And I was like, well, I guess so. And he goes, dude, Brent went on and on about how you can put beer in with steak to, to tenderize it and all that. And I was like, oh, really? And he, and he was like, yes, that's all he talked about. He said, as a matter of fact, when I get out of here, we got some steaks that are about an inch, inch and a half thick, and we're going to marinate them suckers just how you said, and we're going to cook them and see how they are. So I guess the pressure's on. There's some semi, you know, like famous fishermen that are going to try something that I'm, I told them to try, and they're either going to love it and think that I'm the best thing ever, ever or they're going to hate it and think I'm just full of crap. But uh, anyway, with Brent, man, it kept climbing up. And then when I got with Skeet today, it freaking, it skyrocketed. It was, this was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had 
around a pro fishing event or, you know, a pro event in general, anything professional, whether it be football, baseball, you know, or basketball. But uh, this is probably the most fun by far. These guys are all down to earth. They're humble and they are very good at what they do. Um, so anyway, I'm, once again, I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, where you can go to Major League Fishing's website and you can watch the event and you can see how Skeet did today. And then uh, when you see Skeet, and you'll probably only see like my arm and you can hear me talking and you'll know, well, man, that's Jason from Surviving Dad Life. That's freaking awesome. So anyway, you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, go to these fishing events, see these people, go to Major League Fishing's website, put in an application to officiate an event. It's fun. You will enjoy it. You will learn a lot. These people are amazing people, and they will treat you like, you know, you're their greatest friend ever because you're there to help them, and you're also there to learn something. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I'm ready to ride home so I can sit on my couch, my recliner, whatever it has, and have me a cold beverage, relax, and not have to worry about getting up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. Anyway, y'all, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.